What's up, everybody? Shoes look dry today. Shoes look dry. So we got any good jackets again this week. Oscar Peel, USA. Yeah, shoes do not look restocked. Hopefully they restock it. One of the shoes. What's good, everybody? Welcome in. If you're not following already, hit that follow button top left hand corner. But now, what we're doing is we're at a Salvation Army and we're looking for items to flip online for a profit. Make sure you're following. Hit that follow button top left hand corner. Brand are you? Uh, I don't think that's just a brand. I think it's just a random pair. <clears throat> All right. So if you know me, you know I always go straight to the jeans first. And then we'll go to the jackets after this. Tap the screen, send the likes. We're only going to this Salvation Army today. I still haven't packed up my orders from this morning, so don't worry if you didn't catch that live. It's not because you missed it. It's because I just haven't uh, haven't done it yet. So after here, we're going to go pack up our orders. Uh, made in Guatemala. I wonder if those are vintage. Those might actually still be vintage. Those were made in 99. They're made, I believe that's the date right there, 0899 would be the August of 99, I believe. Orange tab. I think that's how you read that. I'm pretty sure that's how you read that. 08 and 99. I'm gonna throw them in the cart. I probably will take them if they're vintage. I definitely do look vintage. <clears throat> yep, 99. Okay, cool. Coolio. That works for me. I'll take a pair of vintage Levi's. And they're orange tab too, which is really good. So Wranglers. Josh was making fun of my hair today. That's okay. He can make fun of me all he wants. He can make fun of me. I'll make fun of him too. Ooh, there's a pair of these men's Joe's jeans. That look like it. I believe these are men's Joe's jeans for $7.99. I'll scoop those up. Men's Joe's jeans sell very, very well. What jeans are you looking for? I'm looking for brands with good resell value. If you're new here, hit that follow button top left hand corner. I do these lives where I go to thrift stores. I look for stuff to buy and resell online for a profit. That's what I do for a full time job. So if you're interested in making a little bit of extra money, this is definitely the live for you. This is the channel for you. Hit that follow button. I do these lives multiple times a week. Today we probably won't find too much stuff, but tomorrow when we go to red, white, and blue, that's where we find pretty much everything. I'm um, going for 30, 35, 40, yeah. The, uh, the vintage ones tend to go for quite a decent amount of money. I normally just strictly look for vintage. Vintage one. Troilia. Yeah. It's a big old jacket. It's a duck head, 4XL duck head. They don't have a price on this though. And I don't feel like arguing with them at the register, so we're going to leave it. Let's go. Everybody's live today. Yep. Everybody's live. It's awesome to see everybody live. Used to be at one point. Why does that look? It looked like Nike at first. 
Sneaky, Nikki. Used to be at one point where it's just like me and like one other person that would go live every day. Now we got the whole cruise going live. It's it's nice to see. Chris is live. I think uh, Kitty Cat's live right now too. Such a thrill. I'm obsessed. Appreciate it. Yeah, I'm probably going to put this one up on my YouTube channel. I know last week we didn't put them up. I just totally forgot. But this one will be up on my YouTube channel. I'll probably put it up on Friday, though. Because Wednesdays is the day that I put up the Salvation Army live. Um, yesterday, I already put up on YouTube um, my live or my uh, full length YouTube video. So go check it out if you haven't already. It's up on YouTube right now. probably put this one up we'll save it for friday we'll do like monday wednesday friday uploads i think that's pretty fair it's not like i'm uploading all at the beginning of the week oh, i was hoping kayla was going to be able to start going live this week she's not to a thousand followers you guys got to get her to a thousand everybody's got to send those uh send those follows over her way she wants to but she can't she's pretty close though. i think she's at like 700 followers something like that Thanks for the air dancer. Yes, sorry if I missed it. My bad. Appreciate you for the air dancer. Thank you so much. Thank you, mods, for helping me out. <laughs> I can't believe I missed an air dancer. Uh, I was really just not looking at my phone, I guess. I might come back to this second. I'm actually going to skip to the shirts really quick, and we'll come back to the sweaters. I like the shirts in this store better anyway. What's up, Sweet Dreams? Sweet Dreams, I met your daughter on uh, Instagram. She hit me up. All right, let's go. The store did raise their prices on some items, so I don't know how much we're gonna find today. We'll see, but sometimes they have really, really good stuff, so it's always worth checking out. Do you pick up Aviator Nation? Mm, no. Should I? I'm definitely not knowledgeable in every brand. I know a pretty good amount of brands, but that might be one that I need to add to my brands list in my, in my noggin. Half off everything? No, not today. Tomorrow's half off everything. But we come the day before half off to get all the good stuff before it goes half off. <clears throat> Resell hoodies 160? Okay. Oh, I think I actually know that Aviator Nation. I think I missed. I think I missed it in one of my lives. I'm pretty sure. So it's bonobos. I don't pick up bonobos though. Uh, does anyone have this hard time? <clears throat> What's up, Juliet? What is going on? Pretty slow right now. We haven't found much of anything. That's okay, I could pick up at any time. Sometimes the store is a hit and other times it's a big miss. There's a Roper shirt, Martin Gordon. Appreciate you retired and reselling for the heart. Thank you so much. Don't skip Ralph Lauren. I do. Here it's eight dollars. It's not going to resell too much. Um, I'll, I'll, I pick up Ralph Lauren, but they got to be specific Ralph Lauren's. They just can't be your everyday, normal-looking Ralph Lauren. Otherwise, they don't flip very well. <clears throat> Appreciate all the follows coming in. If you're not following, hit that follow button top left-hand corner. I do these lives multiple times a week where I come to thrift stores and show you guys what I'm picking up hit that follow button if you miss any part of this live by the way it'll be up on my YouTube channel on Friday Friday Marco Polo I didn't know that was an actual brand can anyone else see my comments busted flakes no I can't see your comment 
Uh, we can see your comments. I'm not gonna be able to answer everybody. But drop it. If you have a question, drop it in the chat. We got a bunch of knowledgeable people in here that can help answer some questions while I keep the uh, entertainment coming. Morning, fellow vultures. What's up? We are currently vulching right now. We are indulging in the vulching. All right, we'll go through this side of long sleeves in a second. I like to go through the pattern shirts first, and then we circle back around. Pattern shirts are where it's at. Prices went up, yeah, in this store they did go up a little bit on some items, but other items they kept the same, so sometimes you just gotta pass on those high priced items, they'll eventually come down. But, I mean, some of these shirts are like $3.99, that's not bad, but that doesn't have a name brand attached to it. That's why they priced it low. You are, you are the thrifty shopper. You small guys can do that. What? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> Happy Tuesday. Where is this? Salvation Army. Currently in the Salvation Army. Here's an old school Chaps Ralph Lauren shirt. Wish it was another brand. And not a lot here today. Definitely not a lot. Doesn't look like they restocked either. Some mornings, some Tuesday mornings, they restocked everything. And other ones, they just... I don't know what they're doing. What's up, Buried? With all the musical notes. It's actually a new a new gift I decided to throw on there. All junk, yeah, it's it's all junk today. So far, anyway. It's that Tommy Bahama. They want six bucks for it. It's too plain though. It feels like it's silk, but it's too plain. Look at Barry just throwing the gifts. Filling up the chat with the gifts. This guy finally found out how to cash out and cash in his gifts. <laughs> Appreciate everybody hanging out too. If you're not following, hit that follow button. Top left hand corner. <clears throat> Lots of junk today. Where do you sell your items? I sell on eBay, Poshmark, Macari, Facebook Marketplace. Oh, we got Jay Spicer in the house too, doing the same thing. He learned from the best, Jay Spicer. Barry taught you well. <laughs> you guys are insane. All right, let's see. Yeah, tomorrow will definitely be the better of the thrifting. I just like coming to Salvation Army because sometimes they, they have a good restock and we find a whole bunch of stuff, but today's not looking like that kind of day. What's the highest price item you've ever found? Um, highest price item I've ever found in a thrift store? Um... Man, I don't know. That's a hard question. Um, probably my uh, Alabama Crimson Tide jacket. I picked it up a long time ago, way before I was making content. Paid 25 bucks for it, and it sold for like 500. Sorry for the noise there over there. They're over there shrink wrapping. Jay Spicer, appreciate you for the February. Thank you so much for all the gifts you guys are sending. You're amazing. Thank you, thank you. There's another Tommy Bahama. This one's nice. It's got a nice pattern to it. How much do they want for it? It's eight bucks. It's too much. That was a little bit cheaper. I might even consider picking it up. All right, let's go over to this side. You know what brands to pick up? You can look them up um, on eBay. You can look up sold comps. Um, you can also check out my store. It's linked in my bio. Appreciate you, Buried, for the paper crane. Buried, just stop. Just give the rest to other people. I don't want all your gifts. Give it to other people. By the way, if you guys want to know how to put in a bidet, um, Buried Treasure is in the house. He actually um, he takes all your bidet questions. So just hit him up. There's a good tummy, or good polar Ralph Lauren. It's too bad it's got like stains on the back of the neck. This was one that I would probably pick up just because it's a 3XB and it's only six bucks. 
This is like a $35 shirt all day, but it looks like it's got stains all over the front. So we're gonna pass that. Make it looks a good brands and document for learners I pay. I know everybody, everybody tells me that. Uh, maybe one day I will, but to be honest, if you wanna know the brands that sell consistently for me, the free information is in my bio. You can just check out my eBay store. I'd rather you go to my eBay store and learn it for free than pay for my pay for my uh, list. Another Polo Ralph Lauren. Oh my god, that's so annoying. They're shrink wrapping that thing. It's so annoying. It's so annoying. Yeah, looks like an old gentleman donated half the shirts. Yeah, today has been really, really dry day. This might be a pickup. This is a Polo Ralph Lauren at six bucks. This is one that I would pick up with this nice stripe pattern. These tend to do a little bit better. Um, it's also a size XL. I'm gonna throw it in the cart. I might pick this one up. Just gotta make sure there's no stains on it anywhere. It's a nice, nice pattern to that one. It's an older label too. High quality cotton. I only get like right around 30 bucks for those. Decent colors, yeah. If it was plain, I'd pass it. But that's more of a um, more of a colorful shirt. Sell a little bit better. That sounds a packing and thrifting all in one. <laughs> yeah. You get the packing, you get the thrifting. By the way, um, I didn't do my packing live this morning. I'm gonna do it when I get home, so don't worry. If you guys are in the chat right now and you wanna see like how many sales I get a day, every day, uh, make sure you're following. I'm going to go live when I get home from this thrift store. And we're going to pack up all of our orders. We'll answer questions, all that good stuff. So definitely come to my live. It's probably going to be in the next like hour and a half. We'll be live again. But for right now, we're we're at the thrift. Actually, got to try to make it home before the mailman comes because I don't want to have to. Uh, I don't have to drive and drop those off. It's a women's brand, GG Blue. I think we have 10 orders to pack. Um, six from eBay, two from Poshmark, one from Facebook, and then Sassy bought that North Face jacket off me, so we have a viewer sale as well. Appreciate the sneaker heads. You gotta do this? You definitely can. Go check out my content. I have literally tons of videos here explaining exactly what I do, and then, uh, Come to my lives, ask as many questions as you want. Obviously, the thrifting lives are a little bit hard to answer questions because I'm obviously thrifting. But um, my nightly lives at 9.30, come there, ask questions, we'll hang out. You guys can see how I list. How, how much is this guy going to shrink wrap this thing? That's enough slices. This guy's literally like protecting this from a nuclear bomb at this point. By the Indian? The Indian what? What's that noise? He's, he's shrink wrapping. Shrink wrapping a piece of furniture. I guess this guy bought it and he doesn't want it to get dinked up on the way home. So he's shrink wrapping it for him. Um, how do I go to your store? My eBay store is linked in my bio. I have a link tree link in my bio of TikTok. You click on that link tree and then it'll take you to all my links, all the products I use on a regular basis, all that good stuff. My eBay store is somewhere in those links. You click that button, it'll take you right to my eBay store. And then if you want to see what I have listed, go ahead and check it out. If you want to see what I have sold, you can literally see what I sold yesterday, if you want to. All my information is public. Kids clothes, I don't do kids clothes, no. This actually store, last week we found the... Uh, leather polo ralph Lauren jacket that goes for like 300 bucks we paid 40 for it but unfortunately it looks like they didn't restock much over this last week it's weird because if i go to the back right now i guarantee that they have like racks of uh inventory to go out fred mello anybody heard of that brand fred mello i've never heard of it Red Mellow. Hawaii. Did you do t-shirts? I don't do t-shirts, no. 
we'll let Chad think about that one for a minute. Let me know if I should go back and get that Fred Mello. Yeah, I had a nicer tag. That's what stopped me on it. Appreciate everybody hanging out. Make sure you hit that follow button, top left-hand corner. It'll let you know when I go live. I'm going to be going live later today, packing orders, and then, of course, later tonight, and then tomorrow morning is going to be the fun live. That's where we go to red, white, and blue. Fred Mello doesn't go for much. Okay, I appreciate you. Normally, I would look it up, but obviously, I am on my cellular device currently. Uh, what place is this? Prices um, are great. This is called Salvation Army. I'm going to go back and say, I'm K-Way, the Vulture. Can you bring... Me a new rack yeah i should do that like hey i'm the infamous k-way shop can you uh can you do me a solid and just bring me out a new rack because what you got out here is absolute garbage lots of izod and george george <clears throat> there's a lacoste but this is i believe fake it's also kids yeah, it's fake. You guys want to know how you can tell if Lacoste is fake? Watch this. If you flip it over, if you flip it over and you can see the stitching of the logo like that, that means it's fake. Lacoste, if you look at the regular polos, they do not have the stitching on the back. They will be clear. Look like It'll look like this where this should be. So that's how you can tell a Lacoste shirt is fake. Easy peasy. Seventy to eighty dollars shirts, sweaters. What do polos go for? Like, what are they selling for used? Maybe I should throw that in the cart just in case. Where was it? It's back here somewhere. There it is. Just throw it in the cart for now. Twenty-ish, no? Nah? Okay. Well, it's going back on the shelf. It's going back on the shelf. 45, pole is not good, okay. Appreciate you guys and gals. This might be a pretty dry stop. What do they got for hats? Nope, no good hats either. Wait a minute. Do Christian Dior ties do good? How much do they want for it? Oh, I guess ties are $1.99. Is a Christian Dior tie good? I don't pick up ties, but this just caught my eye. Hmm. Somebody tell me. Somebody, somebody in here probably sells ties. I'll hold on to it. Kind of, yes. It's $1.99, so I mean, I can't. Can't beat dollar ninety nine for Christian Dior. Might test it out. I don't normally sell ties, but it might be worth it. I'll come back. We'll go through these ties in a minute. Sold the scarf, scarf for Dior for. Okay, cool. Might. I'll look those up. Ties are super easy to ship too. Wally wear. Watch for Her Her Hermes ties. Hermes. Uh, yeah. Hermes, Gucci, all those you want to look for. I've never sold Christian Dior before. I think I've only sold one tie before. It's not really a section I look at. But when you're having a slow day, you tend to go to other sections that you don't normally go to. That's a, that's this case. That's what's happening right now. Dior four dollars free shipping. This Dior tie goes for four dollars free shipping. <laughs> what? Christian Dior ties go that cheap? Damn, that's insane. Um, I'm gonna look it up still, but we'll probably end up putting it back if, it's, if that's the case. That's damn, damn. Check the men's tie section. 
Well, only check the men's tie check section if you're having a very slow day. That's what I do. If you're finding absolutely nothing and chat thinks this is a waste of time, then you just go find a Christian Dior tie and you're like, oh, it's at least a, at least a good trip. Tie sell for 50, okay. We'll look, it, we'll look it up afterwards. Sometimes Felix, Felix likes to troll. If you're new here, Felix is my favorite troll. He's like the, he's like a Sour Patch Kid. Whoa, I knew a tag Tommy's. Which I want for them. $19.99 for brand new Tommy Bahama pants. These would probably go for like 40. They're a good size too, they're size 36 and they feel like they're, they don't feel silk though. Um, probably throw them in the cart for now i might i might end up putting those putting those back yeah get them yeah i could i could easily flip them for around 40 just don't know if i want to pay 20 for something that's going to sell for 40 it's probably gonna go 40 free shipping so i'm gonna make like 10 bucks i don't know if i want to do that yeah it's all that tie for 40 free shipping okay so we'll, we'll hang on to it that's a pretty cool find. I don't normally, don't normally find ties. Luckily, that was like right on the edge, and I actually saw the Christian Dior right away. Eight to twenty-five. Okay. Well, they're, it's only two bucks. So if it goes for twenty-five and it's only two bucks, and it's going to be first-class shipping, obviously, then it'll be worth it. If I could sell it for twenty-five, it's more Tommy. Those ones aren't brand new. I always go through the khakis first because I feel like the khakis have more, more stuff. My wife's also here. She's thrifting the women's section right now. Oh my gosh, wagon, wagon, bold north. You see this? Wagon would go insane for these, but unfortunately, they're more than they are at the Dollar Tree. Who's gonna pay a dollar ninety-nine for a used pool noodle when you can get them for a dollar twenty-five at the dollar twenty-five tree? Get the noodles. Packing material. Seventy-three hundred Christian Dior ties listed. At, um, eight hundred sold. Yeah, we might end up putting that one back. We might end up putting that one. I wonder how much that tie retail for. Probably like a hundred bucks. Dollar twenty-five tree. Yeah, that's what it's called now, right? It's no longer the Dollar Tree. Juan just came back. Juan, Juan, tell Wagon that they're a dollar or they're two dollars here at Salvation Army used. He'd be highly disappointed. Excuse me. Those are cheap pool noodles. Is there a difference between? There's a difference in quality between pool noodles. If we're learning something, people, to do like the good quality ones, like keep a heavier people afloat for longer is that how you determine what a good one is and a bad one is here's a pair of under armor i want ten dollars for them though come on get the noodles get the noodles i should make a video about that i am i'm gonna do it i'm gonna tag them after i'm done thrifting i'm gonna make a video i'm gonna tag wagon in it dollar tree ones are thinner mm. so you're telling me wagons wagons leading us to the uh, to the pool noodles that are less of less of quality. Oh, that wagon. We're gonna have to have a word with him. Somebody get him in here. Brooks Brothers pants. I feel fat shamed. I didn't call you fat. If anything, they'll keep me me more afloat. I'll just wrap them around my belly. I got that dad bod. But I got to get the ones not from the Dollar Tree. It looks like they're higher quality here from the here from the Salvation Army and they got the high quality stuff any real good finds today no well, that's why we're like making jokes right now because I'm just trying to keep you guys entertained so you guys stick around otherwise I'm gonna lose everybody so if you guys want to like make fun of me call me fat so you'll stay stick around go ahead because right now we are finding absolutely nothing 
wagons noodle. <laughs> Hashtag wagons noodle. Oh man. Oh, I would I could go so many places with that, but I'm not going to. One point three k watchers do a dance. I should just like stop and put up my camera, like you know those people that do those dances at like Walmart. And they post them on TikTok. That's what I should do. But I should do it like right in the middle of Salvation Army. You know what I could do is I could, I could do this actually. I could go right, right up there where the register is, and I can stand right there at the register, and just dance on top. Should I do that and then like post it as a TikTok? It'd go viral. Not the really, not the audience I really want to engage with, but I mean I could. Yes, please. Juliet, that's for, um, <laughs> that's going to be for the night that uh, everybody comes down, okay? <laughs> I can't do that sober. That's impossible. I don't want to make fun of myself when I'm sober. You won't. You won't. That's my line. I use that against everybody. You won't. Chris, what's up, Chris? Chris is done packing his, uh, packing his orders. Either that or he's on his third phone right now watching the live you'll go viral and you'll get arrested it's true is it worth it though am i able to post it in the um in the back of the cop car that's the question i can't i, I can't like wait to post that you have to like post it right away what do you do with this stuff i buy it and i resell it online for a profit if you're new here hit that follow button we do these lives multiple times a week that normally our tuesday live isn't the best um, it's our Wednesday live where we get all the good stuff, but, um, basically I buy stuff cheap. I resell online for a profit. I teach you guys how to do it on this channel. Appreciate your bold North. What is this? What is that roast? Um, but I teach you guys how to do it. Watch all my videos. I got tons of content here on TikTok showing exactly what I do. She will take care of it. Passion of the Rose. What was that? I've never seen that one. Did I already go through this aisle? No, I didn't. I went through this. Aisle. I didn't go through this aisle. Do you shop every day? No, I don't shop every day. I only shop um, Tuesday, Wednesday, and sometimes on Thursday. But that Thursday one is for um, YouTube. By the way, if you guys didn't watch my new YouTube video, it's out right now. These I'm going to pass on. 129. Um, these are just a cotton Tommy Bahama pant. I'm going to leave those. All right, I think we're good. I just got a, I just got a scam call. Gotta love those scam calls. But we're back. We're back. You're back at shopping? Yes, we do this every week. Every single week. All right, we're not finding anything in the pants section either. And we're losing tons of viewers right now. Everybody's like, screw this guy. He doesn't find anything. He's a fraud. He's a phony. Man, the Salvation Army lately has been trash. Might have to switch up stores. Are you thrifting? Yes, I'm thrifting. What are you doing? I'm looking for brands with good resale value so I can flip them online for a profit. Because I'm a vulture like Bethany just posted. We're vultures. All right, come on. Peter Millar shorts something good here. Give me something good, Salvation Army. Might have to go see what wifey has gotten. This is pretty garbage. What website do you use? I sell on eBay, Poshmark, Macari, Facebook Marketplace. My eBay store is linked in my bio if you want to go check out what I currently have listed. I have tons of good stuff there. Wrangler. Columbia. We don't pick up Columbia shorts. That's how NC stores are. You tell us, keep on keeping on. Got to. Got to keep on keeping on. I've been here on days like that day that we found all those Peter Millar shirts. I've been here when I've walked out with an entire full cart. And then other days you come out like today. But at least I'm going, showing you guys what it really is like. Not every day you're going to walk out with a full cart. Obviously, I don't think they've restocked much here in the last week. I know they have donations though. What are you top two selling platform? Um, eBay and then Poshmark. That's number two. I sell mostly men's clothing, so it sells a lot better on 
eBay. Man. Bunch of junk. Bunch of junk. Let me see what these jackets are all about back here. Sometimes we can find some good jackets on this back rack. Um, Riverside Made in USA. It's 30 bucks. It's like one of those insulated jackets. I remember I used to wear these when I used to work at Target. When we worked in the freezer section. Riverside. Can't find a men's winter coat here right now. Yeah, in, in uh, Florida you can find tons because it's it only gets cold for a day here. Scan the blazers. Yeah, we might go through the blazers here because we're not finding anything. Go through the shorts and then we'll go through the blazers and we'll check up on Wifey and see how she's doing. Maybe she has a full cart. Maybe she's going to rescue us. We got faith. Hey, look at that. Ask and you shall receive. Peter Millar, six bucks. Ask and you shall receive. It's a good pickup. These go for like 30 to 35. They sell pretty quick. Every time, every time we come here, we always find a pair of Peter Millar shorts. Hey, there we go. We got Untuck It shorts next. The short section is hitting. Finally, these are like 25-ish for Untuck It shorts. All right, come on. Now we got to get some Lululemon, and that, this will make this whole stop worth it. Cool keep. We just rescued ourselves with this, this section. Lots of Tommy Bahama, but we don't pick up Tommy Bahama. Shorts. Let's go. I never checked the men's shorts. Buried. It's a very under-checked area, and you can normally find, like, Shorts and pants actually flip way faster than shirts do in most cases. They're just harder to check because like, for example, most most pants don't have the brand tag here. They're actually on the inside of the pants. So really what you're doing is you're feeling the item, feeling for the quality, and then that'll tell you whether you want to look inside to see what it is. But yes, pants and shorts, very under looked at part of the store. I'm looking for words right now. I'm just Trying to mix them up as I go. <clears throat> oh, ask and you shall receive. 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 Six bucks. I literally asked for Peter Millar and Lululemon, and we found Peter Millar and Lululemon. Easy freaking money. Boys and girls, you just watched a TikTok in the making. You just watched a TikTok happen. That's going to be up on TikTok later today. I want you guys to like and say, I was there. Say, I witnessed that happen. K-Way just prayed to the thrift gods, and all of a sudden, the thrift gods came through. Kway was having a horrible day. He was making fun of himself the entire day just to keep Chad alive. And then he just prayed. He said, I'm going to find me some Peter Millar and Lululemon. And it happened. I was there when Kway, the prophet. <laughs> that sounds so stupid. Uh, sometimes you just got to make yourself laugh, even if the rest of chat's not laughing. All right, since we found some Lululemon here, I'm going to go through the... I don't normally go through the regular shorts, but... I'm going to go through the gym shorts, too, because sometimes where you find one, you find many. How many pieces did you find? Not that many today, but we did find some, some decent little scoops right there in the short section. A jester? Who's, what did jester say? What did jester say? Did you say that you don't pick up Tommy Bahama shorts? Yeah, I don't pick them up because they flip for, like, 15 to 20, and you're paying 5 bucks for them. And by 15 to 20, I mean 15 to 20 free shipping, so it's not worth my time to pick those up if they were brand new i would but it's used tommy bahama shorts they just don't move that fast you can sell them for more than that but it typically takes quite a long time to move them for more than that price especially this time of year but lululemon shorts those look quick 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 the vulture king i don't want to take that crown just yet i'll, I'll be the prince for now 
Oops, somebody gave me a rating on Poshmark. I got the email, you know what that means? They gave me a four star. They didn't give me a five star rating. They must have been mad about something. It doesn't fit. It says it was a size large and it fits like a size medium. Ooh, these are some old, oh no, they're not old, Never mind. Scratch that. How much you sell you Lulu for? Those are easy $35 flip right there. Super easy $35 flip. If these are my size, I might end up keeping them. Let's see what size they are really quick. And they don't have a size that in there. Oh, it must be in this pocket. Sorry. Sorry for the horrible camera angle. We're trying to figure out the size of these Lulus. Where's the size tied at? Oh, well, I give up. It's probably in the pockets or something. Hmm. I'll find them in a minute. I'll let wifey hold the camera so you guys aren't staring down. I need to find another pair. I actually found my first pair of Lululemon gym shorts the other day at Goodwill. If you watch my YouTube video, you would know that I just picked those up last week at Goodwill. Go check out that new YouTube video if you haven't already. Like, like it, subscribe if you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel because we're coming out with those videos every single day or every single week, not every single day. And um, let me know in that video what you would prefer me to do if you would change anything about the video. Let me know. I'm, I'm here for all the critiques. Lulu is my size, I'll take. Okay, hit me up on IG if you're interested and, uh, and I'll, uh, I'll let you know what size they are after the live. And if you pay me right away, I can ship them today because I haven't shipped my orders out yet. today what is going on today this is actually flipped inside out but let's go second second lulu find today let's go let's go what's ksu woodstock lucky number of viewers i know you guys are lucky you guys stick around everybody who's here don't leave if you leave i lose all of my luck that i'm having right now Eagle eyes, I know. Well, that was easy. The Lulu logo was literally right in front of my face. Okay, so we, we salvaged this trip. Literally, we went through the entire store. And at the end of this men's section, we have actually came across some good stuff. So hopefully that means the women's section is just as good as the men's. <laughs> I thought that might have been another one. Kind of looked like when I had a pull tag and everything. <clears throat> yeah, three ninety nine is what I paid for that one. That's a men's Lulu piece. Let's see if we got another one in this section randomly. We'll go through the suit jackets. I don't normally go through the suit jackets, so you guys are gonna have to tell me which one's good and which one's bad because I don't normally go to them. I'm not a suit jacket kind of guy. You ship to Canada? I do. Um, I could ship to Canada if you're interested. Yeah. It's going to be, I'll have to pay, you'll have to pay shipping because I have to, yeah, ship it over. But I'll use Pirate Ship to ship it to you. So, shouldn't be, uh, shouldn't be too hard to figure all that out. I use uh, eBay's global shipping program too. One thing I hate about suits is you gotta go through each and every one. This is, this is boring to me. That's why I don't do suits. But I knew Chris does really good with suits. JF. Of course, all these are buttoned, which makes it hard to figure out what brand they are. What brand are you? 
another JF. Stores at its um, Salvation Army. You know which one I want to check out is this one right here. Christopher Hayes. That's like, wait. This is this is Chris at Peak and Jason Hayes brand. Did you guys know that? They have a brand together. It's called Christopher Hayes. I didn't know this. I didn't know they had a brand. It's like Woman Within is Bearded's brand, and that's Jason and Chris's brand. I had no clue they had that. Chris, you never told me that you and Jason collabed. Is that like a rare find? Jason and Chris. Yeah. Christopher Hayes. Claiborne. Mm, London Square. See how boring this is? This is why I don't do suits. This is so boring. Dillard's. Are you guys napping yet? I'm almost about to fall asleep just doing this. Another Dillard's suit. Hugo Boss does really well for me. Yeah, I haven't found a Hugo Boss yet. I know I watched Chris's live this morning and he told me, or he said in his live, he sold a Hugo Boss. That's kind of what I'm looking for. It hurts my back too, going back and forth. I'm such a complainer. Calvin Klein. Fanny. Heck, appreciate the sub. Thank you so much. What does that make us? What are, what are we up on sub-wise right now? Ooh, this might be good. Ooh, this might be good. What are you? Wait a second. This might actually be good. Is it? Feels quality, but I don't see the brand anywhere. Oh, no, it's Johnson & Murphy. Never mind. 157 subs. Let's go. I think my goal is 165 now. I just had a random goal. It doesn't really mean anything. Okay, guys, I might I might just stop doing these suits. I don't, I'm not finding anything. I'm sure you guys are napping. It's a Tommy Hilfiger. All right, we're gonna go check out. We're gonna go find Kayla. I'm, I'm, I don't like suits. Oh, you know what? We haven't gone through this section yet. We haven't gone through this section or that section. Anyways, let's let's skip through this really quick. Let's find another Lululemon shirt. That would be nice. Suits are hard to score, I know. They're really boring to go through. Definitely on live, it's really boring. I'd rather do it really fast. Do you want to sit down and do those quotes for Tim? Let's see. Let's find some goodies. What city are you in? I'm in St. Petersburg, Florida right now. Beautiful St. Pete, Florida. It's actually a really nice day outside. I don't know if you can see that, but it's super sunny. Really, really nice day. Is Felix's favorite brand? It is. Felix has lots of favorite brands. Felix is a very fashionable guy. That's amazing. Saved our whole trip. This, see, I told you there's hidden gems in here. This store is shit until it's not shit. Let's go. That right there is a, I wanna say it's like a 50 to $60 shirt. I wish it was like a jacket or something, but that's just like one of the common CC Filson shirts. What brand is that? As you can see, it's CC Filson. Always look for CC Filson. Anything CC Filson sells. That is an amazing find. 
I don't find CC Filson too often. I found it twice now in this store. Let's go. You guys didn't know that brand and you probably passed it up millions of times. I feel sorry for you. Very good brand. Find Ariat. Okay, that's the next one. We're going to talk to Thrift Gods right now. We're like Thrift Gods. We need to find Ariat. So please, Thrift Gods, whatever you do, drop an Ariat piece in front of me. So I stopped donating because they price their shirts. Poor people can't afford them. $8 for CC Filson is too much for a quote unquote poor person. By the way, poor pre a poor person is a relative term. To you, I might be a poor person. To Elon Musk, we're all poor. So some poor people can afford $8, some can't. Depends on what you mean by poor. But $8 for a CC Filson shirt is actually a really great deal. Because I'm going to resell that for 50 to 60 bucks. So there's a Lacoste. It's just too much. It's 10 bucks for a Lacoste shirt. I'm going to pass on that one. Good brand, just too much for that one. I'm poor and I do this to make a living. There you go. See? Deep down inside, we are all poor people to somebody. Somebody else is rich compared to us. CC who? CC Filson. CC Filson. Let's go. Oh, I can't believe I found a CC Filson here. That's amazing. Corvus solid white. I think this one had stains in it, if I can remember correctly. Uh, I'm still going to pass on it. The Brooks Brothers. That one definitely has stains on it. I remember that from last week. Visconti Uomo. Damn, I wish this was cheaper. This is actually a really good shirt. Not a like amazing brand, but it does have like this nice pattern all throughout. It's a solid white, but it's only like a 35. No, yours is frozen. Oh, wait, wait. It says pause. Oh, there it goes. Now it's going. All right, we're back. Here we go. There I have no clue what happened. We just completely lost connection and I couldn't get it on. We had to check on wifey's um, camera. I don't, I don't know what happened. We just lost everybody, that but really we're back. This is a no, probably, right? Because of the thing? Oh, no, this is okay. For 20? It's brand this? new. This is okay, because this is 20 bucks, but it's brand new with tags. It does have that annoying embroidery on it on the front and the back, but you can get that out if you want to, so. Oh, okay, well, I figured I'd show you anyway, just in case. We never left you, you left us. That's what Trisha <laughs> just said. Um, I think this will be worth picking up for 20 bucks. This retails for, how much does this retail for? almost a hundred i probably could we probably could get like 40 to 50 for this would you guys pick this up let me know in the chat Did i thought you pick i'd show up you this? but i didn't think with that you could say yes but, uh, so we'll hang that up questionable questionable cloth and stone how much are they uh four bucks everybody's saying no they wouldn't pick up the patagucci okay so we'll probably pass I thought on I'd that bring it to you. if it was half off day we might pick that up I forgot what color it was. That Cloth was and one. stone, that's good. What do you got here? Fig. Ooh. Two figgy. Ooh, little figgies. These are nice. Yep. Figs, definitely be on the lookout for this brand. They sell really well. Figs. Another pair. Figs, these are, what size are they? These are good size too. I think I they're both they're, probably the same persons they're right Yeah, they're colors. definitely bigger, but wifey on fire, she is. Look at this. Spank jeans? Some Spanx jeans. I didn't know they made jeans. I don't know they made jeans either. But we're but learning. They feel nice. They feel yep. good. They like look the to be in good condition. Pants. No pulling or anything like that. What do Spanx jeans go for? Somebody in chat, let me know. I know they're worth picking up. We I just found don't know what they sell for. Now we found jeans. Well, Eileen Fisher. Wife is superior. I know she's finding better stuff than I did today. We found two pairs of Lulus, but nice. that was probably our best. Eileen Fisher. What is this made out of? Um, well, I was going to say, there, there's nothing fancy, but I know everybody... It's the black label. I think this is good, right? The black, yeah, that's why I grabbed Spanks it. you very much. four bucks. So like, four bucks, yeah. I think we'll just take this them. This is the newer Tag Athleta, which is okay. built into the thing. Oh, yeah. So, newer Tag Athleta. These are... Ombre style leggings. 
Nice color to these. I think I picked those up. But yeah, we found the CC right set. Oh, these are nice. I've never found Sorel sneakers before. I know there's the boots over there, the dirty ones from last week. So I thought I'd show you these. I didn't yeah. know how many. I have to look up comps on these. They look to be in good. They're fifteen bucks though. That might actually Wait, be a they're pass. Blue. Oh, they're blue. blue so yeah, up. they're seven fifty. Seven fifty. How much does that athletic go? Or athletic, athleta go for? Um, this is probably I would say like 20, 25 maybe on the high end maybe. Um, it's only four bucks, so we're definitely gonna pick it up. If anything, they're my size. Did you put back the uh, Patagonia? Or did you yes. put it back? In there? Okay. Are you still shopping? Because I'll, I'll still walk around and try to find oh, some stuff, too. I feel like I never get to do you shirts. Go through this. Yeah, go through the shirts. I'm just going to walk them around. Okay. I'll just go walk them. What are those? What are those? What are those? All right, let's see if we can find some other shoes in here. This is where I found those fake Yeezys, and I dropped them on the floor. By the way, I got a couple comments on that video saying... Why would you drop them on the floor and leave them there? I just shake my head at those people. Like, do you honestly think I just left the shoes on the ground and just walked away? Come on, people. Come on, people. Those are the other Sorel boots. These are in really, really dirty, nasty condition. Otherwise, I would definitely pick these up. They also want 20 bucks for them. And these are, they have the liner on the inside. They're just super dirty. Are you in Canada or U.S.? I'm in, I'm in the United States of America. Soak them? I probably could, but I don't like spending that much time on shoes. Um, 20 bucks? I mean, that's probably like a $50 pair of shoes anyway, so to spend that much is kind of crazy on, on those. What are you? Oh, these are definitely chinzy. I can feel them. John Deere boots. Do John Deere boots sell? Does anybody know if John Deere boots sell? I've never found a pair of John Deere boots. They are a women's size 8 John Deere boot. Sometime worth it though, yeah. If those were cheaper, I probably would take the risk. But for 20 bucks, I don't think I'm, I'm going to take the risk. Isn't this a good brand? Bear Paw? Or is this like a... Is Bear Paw a good brand? Reminds me of like... I th keep thinking Barefoot Dreams. Those Ufos? No, those are Crocs. No, Bear Paw? Okay, knock off Crocs. Okay, cool. Junk? No, yes. They're probably junk. What are you? Oh, those are junk. Those are junk too. Blue is half off though? It is. It is kind of getting to the near end of boot season though. So I probably shouldn't be looking at boots. I should probably be looking at sneakers. Hug dupe, okay. They're a pair of hug dupes. Trying to see what brand. Oops. Trying to see what brand those are. Rocky. Okay, they're not worth it. It's good to have a camera that you can zoom in with, so when my eyes can't read it, I can still see it. I wonder if she went through the pants. Let's ask her if she went through the pants, and then we'll go through the pants. Maybe Steve Madden's. Rocky's really good boots. I don't think they have a resale value though. I know I used to pick them up. Um, I used to have them for my work. I worked at the uh, post office. Did you go through the pants? The ones, all, all those racks over there? All of them, all of them. Okay. Um, what, have, what have you not gone through? Have you gone through Dresses? these jackets? I went through jackets. Oh, have jackets. you gone through those jackets up there? Two rows. Okay. There's like um, I went through the plus sizes. You want to go through your bras? No, I don't want to go through bras. Did you go through like the sports bras and the shorts and stuff? You can do shorts. 
Okay. I did the broad. Okay, we'll go through the shorts. Oh my god, this car's horrible. There it goes. Alright, let's go through the shorts really quick. See what we can scoop up. Let's look for some Lulus. Some Lulu shorts. I found out recently that Lulu shorts actually sometimes sell for more than the Lulu leggings, which is pretty surprising. Hard part is finding the damn logos on these things. Most people are going shopping for those dresses. See what we can find. One thing about the Salvation Army is they do not know how to find Lululemon. So anytime you find it in this store, it's normally very, very cheap because they do not know how to find it. <laughs> what brand is this? Doesn't have a brand tag on it. Nope, these are DSGs. DSGs, that logo was super hard to find. Under Armors. What brands am I looking for in shorts, ladies? Let me know in chat. What brands am I looking for in shorts? Billabong. Appreciate you for the music notes. Thank you so much. Athleta, Lulu, okay, Athleta, Lulu. Hard part is actually finding the damn logos on these things. Those are, that's a, nope, that's not one. Lulu, Gymshark, NVGTN, that's a new one. NVGTN, I've never heard of that one. We're, we're learning our women's brands right now. We got men's on lock. It's the women's is what we need, we need to learn. Appreciate everybody hanging out, too. If you're not following, hit that follow button, top left-hand corner. It's going to be going live later today, packing up our orders. So if you want to see what sold yesterday, make sure you're following. You'll get a notification as soon as I get home and go back on live. Ooh, those look promising. These look promising. Mm, these look promising. Mm. Nope, they're not promising. <laughs> they are junk. Junk, 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 junk. They look promising. Athlete, okay, athlete. I heard that one before. I don't know what the logo looks like, though. I'll have to learn all these logos. Aloe, aloe, I know aloe. I actually found aloe quite a few times here. I'm surprised wifey hasn't found an aloe pair aloe yet. Or how many times I've found it here. It's definitely hard looking up um, shorts on camera because normally I'd use both hands for this. So I'd have like one where I'm opening up the short and the next one I'm uh, pulling the next one in front of me. Normally when I'm going through these, I'm, I'm not taking this much time. I'd be going like this. But because camera, I want to be able to show you guys what I'm looking at. I have to go a little bit slower. Try Nikes. Oh, Nikes are normally a pass. Hey, we got a shoe restock. We got a shoe restock. Anything? 
No, I'm not finding anything. We're looking for Lulu, Athlete, Gymshark, Aloe, Zaya. Zaya. Huh, you know one. There's you know. a new brand that I just discovered, but I can't remember the name. It's Outdoor something. Outdoor something leggings. for leggings. What is that? And Somebody I keep knows. seeing them come up. But I can't remember. It's outdoor something. Outdoor something. What? Somebody else. Somebody else say somebody in the chat. Somebody says it. It'll just jog my memory. There's a women's brand of leggings. It's called Outdoor Voices. Voices. That's what it is. See, I knew that one. I knew it before you. Oh, good job, you. <laughs> just kidding. Chat told me. What? I want to check good job, the, Chat. I want to check the cart. Right on the cart. That's what I was looking for. Outdoor Voices. That's what I'm looking for. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I found Roar. Fila's. Okay, watch that. All right, let's go over all of our finds, and then we'll get going. Zella. Roar, Omega Roar. Fleta, Zella, yes, Zella. Let's go to that back wall over there where the light is good. Did you go through the bras? These bras? Sports bras? Oh, you did? that butt. Look at that butt. Did you say Zella for like? <laughs> uh, somebody said Zella, yeah. I see oh, no Zella. Time. Somebody said no Zella. Viori. Yeah, I was gonna say, I don't think Viori good. is a good one. I've never, I've never found Viori before. Viori is a really good one to be on the couple. No, I would never. Where? Down here? Why would I do that? I'm a married man. Just sit down. <laughs> 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 All right. <clears throat> Why not foot joy? Foot joy is probably a good one for women's too. I don't think foot joy women's stuff sells very well though. I've had a couple and it, they haven't sold. All right, we're gonna go over all the finds from today. We're gonna make sure we condition check these afterwards. Um, but first up, we have a Roar. It's a size large, $7.99. This is like a $35 shirt all day. Probably the find of the day was this CC Filson. CC Filson shirt, excellent condition. It uh, looks to have no stains on it at all. Even if it had stains, I'd still pick it up um, for 8 bucks. This is like a $60 shirt all day. Does Aerie sell well? I don't know. You have to ask chat. This is a Lululemon top. Is that a hole? No, it's not a hole. Um, but it's actually inside out. i got to flip it the other way to make sure it's in good condition. But um, for 4 bucks, I think this is a women's. looks like a women's cut. Yeah, it looks like a workout top. But still, for 4 bucks, we're going to pick that up. Roar is an easy sale. Yes, it is. All right, next up, this is actually on the first part of the rack, and it went out on Saturday. This is a $5.99 pair of Lululemons. Really good. Um, if you guys are, somebody was interested in these, can you try to find the size on these really quick? Somebody was looking for the size. It's in one of the pockets, I believe. But I'll let you guys know the size of those in just a second. Next up, we got Untuck It. We paid $5.99 for these, or we're paying $5.99 for these as long as they're in good condition. It's like a $30 sale. I asked the thrift gods for a pair of Peter Millars and the thrift gods came through for $5.99. I'm gonna scoop these up. This is like a $25 to $35 sale all day long. These look to be in super nice condition. Oh, never mind. They're not in super nice condition. Look at that. So we're gonna be leaving these behind. These have a nice tear on the back. So those are gonna be going back on the shelf that's why you always condition check stuff you don't just walk to the register because sometimes you miss those little little uh embellish why is this side embellishments here? and i can't get to it oh wait it's in that little pocket 36 these are a size 36 i might try these on um if i like them i'm probably going to keep them but if not they're going to be up for sale later today so size 36 lulus this is a 20 dollar pair of um Tommy Bahama pants, but they are brand new with the tags. That's why I'm picking them up. This is like a $40 seller, 40 to 50 bucks. I should be able to get those for those. Put these back. Yep. There you go. Um, I'm going to look this up. This is a Christian Dior tie. Um, Felix said this has a horrible sell through rate, so I'm going to make sure I check that out. If not, this is only two bucks. So we're going to check that and see if I'm going to actually pick that up or not. Next up, we got just a staple bread and butter um, Polo Ralph Loren shirt. We're gonna check it for stains. It is 
six bucks, but it's got a nice pattern. It's the older label too. People like this older, thicker cotton. So we're gonna check this one out, make sure it's good. If not, it's a 25 to $30 seller all day. Got a pair of men's Joe's jeans, eight bucks. Men's Joe's jeans, this is like a 35 to $45 seller depending on the size. I couldn't see what size it was. It's underneath that hook, so I'm gonna check it afterwards, but these look to be in really good condition. No pulling. These are basically like brand new. So we'll take that. Color in the pattern, yes, on that Paul Paul Ralph Lauren. Definitely helps it sell. All right, these are a vintage pair of Levi's jeans. Not all Levi's jeans that are made in the USA are vintage. This does have some staining on the front. So I'm probably still gonna take them because they are vintage. Nobody really cares about staining vintage, but the way I tell what year these are from is right there. It says 0899, which means these came out in August of uh, 1999. And these are also the orange tabs. You can see right there. It's got the um, orange tab on the back. It's a really nice pair of jeans. Um, even though they're vintage, or even they're vintage, so even though they have stains on them, I'm still gonna pick those up because uh, it's, it's okay to pick these up with stains on them. These are a men's 42. So I'm gonna wash them, try to get as much of that staining out. But if it doesn't come out, I'm cool, cool with it. All right, let's go over your finds really quick hand them over to me and then I'll go over them yep first up we got a pair of women's athleta these are a size medium these are four bucks I'm assuming these are like 20 to 25 dollars sellers super easy to list super easy to ship so we pick these up all the time next up we got some Eileen Fisher is that is that staining yeah. might not be no I think it's just from rubbing up against something it'll come right out Eileen Fisher for six bucks what is it made out of though? That's the key. It's not a fancy it? one. That's what I was gonna. What do you guys think? Should Deeper? we pick up this Eileen Fisher? It, that's not staining. It'll come right out. It's just like it rubbed it up rubbed against, against the cart. Or yeah. Pass on Eileen. Okay, we'll pass on it. Sorry, Eileen. Sorry, Eileen. Better luck next time. Spanx jeans, eight bucks. Always a pickup. Spanx is always a pickup. Always, always, always. <clears throat> we got not only one pair of figs, we got two pairs of figs for four bucks. Really good. These are a size, it says a size small. Is that a size small? That, that does not look, not look like a small. I guess it's a small. I guess they fit a little big. Medium, maybe. Oh. It says small though. Cloth and stone. I think we sold a pair of these recently for like 25 bucks. How much is it? Four. Four bucks, so we'll pick those up. And these we're probably going to pass on because, oh no, they're 750 We're going to look up comps on these. These are a pair of Sorrells, like strap sneakers. I don't know what these sell for, so I got to look them up. But we'll see. If you don't want the Dior, I'll um, take it for the Upcycle Project. Okay. I'll look up comps. Um, I'll still buy it on Grumpy Thrifters and I'll hit you up. And then I'll just sell it to you at cost, whatever cost and shipping is. I mean, it's only going to cost like four bucks to ship that. So, but there we go. Uh, we're gonna look up these and see if they're worth picking up yes get those okay people are saying get those yeah. make sure you look up uh, specific colors of name of figs okay we'll look up specific either, either way we're picking up those figs they're four bucks uh they go for 35 to 50 new those are used though those are those are used appreciate the follows 114 for the sorrel shoes those the ones that we found we'll look them up i don't know if we're gonna go for 114. Cool. all right we're gonna go ahead and head off um this live will be posted to youtube on friday so check for it on friday tomorrow we're going to red white and blue and i'm gonna post red white and blue tomorrow i'm gonna hold this live and post it on youtube on friday if you missed the new youtube video is up on youtube right now you go check it out we did a full length youtube video we posted it yesterday so um really awesome one so we're gonna go ahead and comp these and make sure there's no stains on them and then we'll catch you on the next one. Peace. Bye.